Hey guys, what's up? Drew here from DNTR Tech TV, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a video about over-the-air updates on your iDevice running 5. iOS 5.0 or later. And there is a situation going on where when you try to do the software update straight from your iDevice, when you click download and install, it will download the the uh, the update, but then when it's done, it will say that the download was there was a problem with it. And this has to do, like I'll show you guys, you have to just click download and click agree. And then it says connect to power if you're not already, but I have 100% battery, so I'll be fine. So it'll download your firmware, and I'm going to come back to you guys when this is done. And now it's preparing the update, and the status bar is going faster than it was when it downloaded, unless you have really fast internet, which I don't. But uh, it's preparing the update, and when it gets... Not quite full, but about midway between where it is now and full, or somewhere, it'll give you an error. And I'll show you guys that error in just a second, like right here. It says, Software Update Failed. It says, An error occurred downloading iOS 5.0.1, and you can click Close, you can click Settings. You click Settings, and it just takes you back to where it checks for updates. And it'll check for updates, and it'll find the update in just a second and it'll just say 5.0.1 like you did before and this it I'll tell you the reason for this is because if you can if you see my last video it's the enabling the multitask gestures on your iPad 1 and that is the reason it's because you're doing that or you've jailbroken and that is because uh it patched the kernel and all that so technically I did kind of lie to you guys but not really when you did do the multitask gestures it technically did jailbreak it and it patched the kernel and all so I guess that would be considered a jailbreak but without city and all that but that's the reason it won't update because you've jailbroken or doing something like that so you'll have to update via iTunes and what you need to do is don't restore from a backup when you restore just download the firmware and then shift or uh, option restore and select the firmware and do that and that will wipe all your jailbreak stuff off without it running in the background and doing all that so anyway guys this is just a quick update video on why you're having problems with your iOS device running 5.0 updating if you're jailbroken and I don't quite know about your jailbreak news because I don't keep up with that since I can't really jailbreak anything I can't technically jailbreak this because it's my mom's but anyway guys Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button up there for more videos like this. Comment, favorite, like, all that stuff down there. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.